Well, this video is going to be about politics. God, I'm so tired of it. It ain't even politics. It's a freaking joke. The candidate I was first interested in um, had a lot of good ideas that I thought were good. You know, we need to help out people in society that needs a help up and a lot of people need a helping hand and there is another candidate that had a lot of similar thinkings and Jill Stein of the Green Party asked Bernie Sanders who went Democratic and I think he should have gone independent on his own he got enough attention uh, he messed up big time there and then when he lost for whatever reason uh, I think it was rigged people say well how come the person that was rigging it hasn't been charged well somehow she managed to become a powerful person and a lot of people in politics get away with a lot of shit that us regular people couldn't get away with and the people in the high power the one percent the big wigs that own us all that own ninety percent of us and they all got more money than the ninety percent of us put together so <clears throat> that's what things have become so everybody wants to go mainstream we got two candidates who are both jerks um, we need to start thinking out of this damn box we got ourselves trapped into a system that ain't working uh, people who are voting aren't listening to all of the candidates in their completeness like I have I've been watching every single one of them I've been going through thousands of hours of videos you know it's all available I'm not going by what mainstream says I'm going by the videos of what the candidates are saying all of them I've been interested in politics since I was knee-high to a grasshopper back in John F Kennedy's days before I, I even came to the United States when I was adopted and one of my teachers told me later on in high school that uh, you know if you don't know the past you can't understand the present and there's not a damn thing you can do about the future if you're going to remain stupid um, we could have made a big difference this this go round but everybody did the same old same old um, we got to start thinking alternative this mainstream politics and the mainstream of what this country has become and what the people in the country has become and the good people are getting less and less and we got so darn complacent complacent the people that have and weren't affected so much and we're able to do things that a lot of us can't do we chose different paths and we all should have ended up doing pretty good with the net worth of this country uh, got spread too thin you know here's here's the uh, all of us and all the wealth 
went to the few at the top and they got a whole lot more than the rest of us put together they hogged it all and we let them so for whatever reason Trump got rich and uh, Clinton got rich and the rest of us are struggling you know this debate can go on and on and I can open up a can of worms and people can get nasty and uh, we already saw how nasty this whole thing is we don't need to keep it getting nastier and nastier we need to make it better we need to fix it we need to make it so that we can agree on most things instead of agree, disagree on damn near everything. How's that working? It ain't. So let's figure out how we can agree on more uh, instead of bitching about what we disagree on. I'm not looking for people who disagree with me. I'm looking for people that can help me fix this. And you don't fix it by arguing. You fix it by coming up with ideas that work. And then we find the people that can get it done. And I want to be one of those people that can start trying to fix this thing. I mean, not just our country. We need to figure out how to get along with the other countries we got to make peace amongst ourselves so let's try to figure out something that'll fix all this it's not beyond repair nothing is beyond repair some things you got to rebuild from scratch okay so let's start scratching let's start rebuilding this broken the boggle of a country we got because it's up to us to make it great again it's not up to the people that are whoever the hell is going to get voted in <sighs> pitiful choices I got my one choice, the only one that's been true all along, so I'm going green. And there's enough people between the independents and enough people on both sides of the aisle, that two sided aisle, that if they had a, had enough guts to start changing things and get like-minded people that are uh, that aren't doing much except messing things up let's fix it see you later